More rain, though, is on the way as a surge of tropical moisture begins moving toward us. Now, at the moment, that surge of tropical moisture is associated with a tropical wave, which models are starting to come into a little bit more in agreement of maybe a depression or storm forming. Does that mean an impact to us directly? No, it just looks like still a surge of moisture. But as I mentioned, today is the climatological statistical peak of hurricane season. After today, we start to see a slow <laughs> decline in the number of storms, but September and early October, and as last year Zeta proved, even late October is still very much an active part of the season. Thankfully, there really are no direct threats to us. What we're watching is a high chance for something to form with a wave that is near Belize will be moving over the Yucatan and getting into the western Gulf of Mexico by the end of the weekend. Again, at the moment, whatever it is that tries to form in the Western Gulf looks to be nothing more than a surge of tropical moisture as far as we are concerned. And the reason that whatever tries to develop will likely stay off to the West is because of the placement of an upper high that will keep all of that activity in terms of a developing tropical system to our West. The surge of tropical moisture, unfortunately, we can't get rid of that. That is headed our way. So the moisture will help to increase our clouds and rainfall as we get into the early part of next week and under the circumstances we really could do without it but unfortunately it looks like it is coming our way in terms of the rainfall totals we'll kind of fine tune this as we see what really does try and form but right now we're looking at probably one to two maybe two to three inches of rain over the course of a couple of days which we can handle anything more than that maybe a little bit of a stretch uh, stress to some flooding issues and it'll be something to watch one thing that i wanted to point out is very interesting statistically speaking what we're looking at with these numbers are the return frequencies of major hurricanes as far as specific parts of the coastline. What that means is for any one location, how often, how many years in between major hurricanes making landfall. Right at around the South Louisiana coastline, the return pre frequency is every 20 years. So meaning those areas could expect to see a major hurricane every 20 years. It was not the case the last year, uh, less than a year, really. You go back to late 2020, Hurricane Zeta, basically right across the same spot where Hurricane Ida made landfall less than a year apart. So that return frequency of 20 years was down to a year as far as that part of the South Louisiana coast goes. Just very, very interesting and just shows you that we have been in a very active uh, part of tropical development.